today we will discuss about the amazing new JavaScript feature that is comes in the ECMAScript 2022 or you can say in the ECMAScript 13 version. So the first feature they will provide us is the class field declaration that means whenever we are declaring our class properties now we can define its value to wherever we are declaring that. So we will simply access that in the previous version we have to first declare that then we will initialize its value in the in its constructor so let quickly test this we have a simple page a web page and we open that on the console here you can see we are able to access the properties first name and the last name that we are declaring it so this is the first feature that ECMAScript provide us second is the private map method and the fields with the ECMAScript 2022 now it is more secure so how it is more secure first of all how we can define that the private variable in the ECMAScript by using the hash symbol before your property we have to add the value hash symbol hash and then we will give it a name to our property and then we are defining that so here is the first thing that we can access the name our variables accessing the private variables using the function because this function is a public function so in this what we are returning is first name and the last name so we create object of the person and now you will see you will able to console the name of the person from here so now if we try to access the properties we are not able to access it since it is a private but in the initial ECMAScript 2021 version or you can say the previous versions uh, we will declare the private variable using the underscore and then we will define it and like we will get the name of and still name of the person and still we are able to access the private property of the class using this person to object so, although it is a private and also we can modify that property but this is no longer supported in the ECMAScript 2022 it is now secure now it is properly like saving your properties whenever you are declaring at private because you only we declare the private property when we don't want to expose that property to the end user so let quickly test this let me copy this piece of code and paste it into our script section now you will see it will start compiling a throwing error over here so let quickly refresh this page you will see it will throwing error at this because it is a private property now if I remove this code and save and refresh the page again you will see firstly accessing my name over here giving us the name now if we remove this yeah if we remove this the new ECMAScript code and we will see the old code you will see first it will print your name then it's changing your name over here so what the purpose of the private variable it is all the accessible outside the class so in ECMAScript 2022 it is now fixed now you will see the private variable is no longer accessed outside the class the third famous feature is the await operator now now in ECMAScript 2022 like initially when we are declaring some function and if I have to be use the await keyword I will I have to be declare this function as async but in ECMAScript 2022 it is no longer required you will use this function using the await keyword next feature is the static class field and static private method in new ECMAScript 2022 now we can declare the static fields and the static private method for a static class how we can do that simply we will define the person class here we have defined our static variable with the initialize value 0 and here is our static method so in the constructor what we will do is if we want to access this static method then we have to initialize this or we can use this inside this dot constructor dot your static method name in this way you can use the static method inside the constructor of any particular class and here you will see you will get the count of that particular person as you have already incremented that fine next thing is uh, the next feature that ECMAScript provides us is the class static blocks 
so in atmux script 2022 we now we have allowed it to define the static blocks that will be executed only once at the creation of the class a class can have the number of the static methods or you can say the static regions like suppose we have this class vehicle and here we have a default color blue and we can extend this class using extend keyword and here we have array of the colors and you will see in the static region I have pushed this color into this and one more color I am adding is that is the red one and if you will see when we are consoling it we have all the three colors that we are actually initiating is this static member will take the memory whenever you are defining the class instance at one go so the next thing that is the beautiful thing that ECMAScript provide us is the exist check for the private fields suppose you have a class and you have one variable and you want to be check whether it is existed or not in that particular class so now in ECMAScript we will check that using the has property using the in keyword basically I have defined the you know one method that is the has class in this what I am doing is I am basically using the in operator I am checking this property reside into this particular class object or not if it is existed it will return me the true if not this will simply return me the false flag next thing is the add method for the indexing basically like previously what we have to be do is whenever we have to be check any index or you will see fetch any index from the array what we will do is we will first get the array length and then we are subtracting that particular value from its index and then we are able to retrieve the array right array variable now in ECMAScript 2022 we have a feature that is the method at in which we will simply pass which index we want to be retrieve it will retrieve an index for us you will see we don't need to get the array length or subtract subtracting it from its total value now we'll simply get it using the add method and pass it which index you want it and you will get it right the next thing is the rejects expression improvement in the ECMAScript 2022 in this what ECMAScript provide us initially when we are doing any check like like simply let's say I have string this and I want to be get my regex so initially what we are getting is we will getting the value its index and the input that we are providing it and the groups now in ECMAScript what we extra getting is we will get the match like basically string it's starting at the ending index so if you carefully watch this string like the starting index is 4 and the ending is 7 so it will return us in the output like whenever we are logging that you will see now we are getting the indexes as well in the output the next feature is the object dot has own method this is pretty good what it is useful for like suppose you have a class object and you creating its you know values and age and now like what is uh, like if you want to be check whether this like class has this property or not we will simply what we will do is initially before the you know the ECMAScript 2022 what we are checking is has on property of that particular object okay so now if we will see like if the age is existed or not or name is existed or still still the age is the property of the class but it will return as the false why it is returning the false because we have override this method initially like before the ECMAScript 2022 this like this method is overridable it is not protected okay so we can override this method so in this case or in this scenario you will get the false result so to overcome this now we have the has own method that will properly tell us whether this property belongs to that particular object or not so this is the second way first way we will check it using our custom method like whether it is existed or not using the in property right so the next enhancement that ECMAScript do for us is the error cause initially when any error occurs we will only return a error or you can say throw an error now we what ECMAScript provide us extra is we, now we have a error cause as an object we will pass that exactly why this error is coming up this is the additional feature that ECMAScript provided us the next is the array find from the last 
in this feature like initially before the ECMAScript 2022 we will only have two method find and the find index using which we will simply find our particular index or you can say find a result inside that particular method and if we have to we find the last this will be the same process you will get the length and then you are subtracting that and you have to be iterate the whole array again and again so to overcome this now we have a last method using which we will simply get the last you can say the last you will get the last value from your array by simply the find last and the find last index so that's it hope you like the lecture please subscribe the channel see you in the next session